I'm an astronomer, and astronomy is one of the oldest sciences, and everyone, indeed, whether scientists or not, has looked up at the night sky and wondered at it. Indeed, the night sky is a part of our environment that's been shared by all human beings of all cultures throughout all ages. They've interpreted it in different ways and wondered about it. And I think as an astronomer, I am perhaps more deeply aware of the wonder and the mystery than the average person. The other thing which astronomy teaches me, which is relevant to my view of the world, is that the time lying ahead is at least as long as the time which has elapsed up till now. Most of us are aware of the four billion years of evolution on Earth, which has led from the first life to human beings. But astronomers are aware that the time lying ahead is at least as long. The sun has six billion years before it dies, and the universe may have an infinite future. So I think it's hard for astronomers to think of human beings as, in any sense, the culmination of evolution. There's enough time in the future for life here on Earth and perhaps far beyond to develop in an even more wonderful way. Another thing which I think science of any kind teaches us is that even the simplest things are hard to understand. A hydrogen atom, for instance. And that makes me rather suspicious of anyone who claims to have a quick and easy answer to any deep aspect of reality. I think the most we can hope for is an incomplete and metaphorical understanding. And therefore, I'm not myself someone who can accept any specific religious dogmas. But I grew up in the traditions of the Anglican Church, and those are the customs of my tribe, as it were. And I deeply appreciate that tradition, and I participate in my college chapel, etc., and am privileged to have been brought up in a tradition with the most wonderful uh, aesthetic and musical traditions, and I want to do all I can to preserve and strengthen those. <laughs>